Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are here at the Microsoft store at the West Farms Mall in West Hartford, Connecticut, and I'm joined by Rick Green. Rick, How are you? Rick, you're the manager of the store. It's my store, absolutely. Now you're getting ready because now by the time people see this, it'll be out, but this is coming out tomorrow, the Surface 3. So what, what do we got here? What's the... So it's, it's the Surface Pro 3, mm -hmm. and there's a ton of excitement about it. As you can see, um, it's one of the newest members of the Surface family. We previously had the Surface 2, um, and you know, our customers have been asking for a bunch of different types of upgrades. They wanted some new features and functionality, and we really think that we delivered with this new product. So let's take a look at how this uh, product is configured. Now it's two parts, right? You have a keyboard that's separate. So this is an add-on that you have to buy if you want the keyboard, but it comes with the pen, right? It does come with the pen, and we'll show you here in a little bit some of the really cool features built into the pen. The things I just would like to highlight about the new Surface Pro 3 is that it's really meant to be for the first time ever, a true laptop replacement, but then it can also operate as a tablet replacement as well. And we can just show you real quick. So go ahead and just take that off. And it feels it's a magnetic connector here. Yep, you can't connects. miss with it. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and close the kickstand. Okay, on the back here. Yep. Just put it in. It's, yep. it's so what so we it's like to say, totally it's there fair. when you when you want it to be there, right. but really if you see the way it's engineered, it just disappears and it's gone when you don't and want it to be there. It's pretty lightweight considering. This is a full, now we should say this is a regular PC. This is what, an i5? This Intel is the base? i5 version. And that's yep. what's coming out tomorrow. And it, it, it really, for a tablet with a full PC on board, this is really, it's balanced nicely. Right? Amazingly thin, yep. 1.76 pounds, so incredibly light. Com even compared to some of the best ultrabooks on the market, it's uh, yeah, super thin, super light, and has, like you said, a really great feel to it. And there's a bit of a little tactile feedback here when I hit the home, the, my, the home, my Windows button here at the bottom. I guess yep. the home button. I feel a little vibration. A little there. bit of a response. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So you know what you're doing. And you know what I like about it is, you know, the prior tablets that I've used from just about everybody have a very narrow 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This this feels a little bit wider, right? Yeah, and that's some of the feedback that we got. So when you look at the size of the screen of the Surface 2. Um, and you go to the bigger screen on the Surface Pro 3, even though it's just a couple inch difference, when you put them side by side, you see that there's a, there's a, a tremendous increase in the real estate of the right. screen. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, it's, and it's, it's better it's, to hold this way because a lot of times I, I was always having a hard time reading web pages because they were so yep. narrow. This, is, this feels a lot wider, so I, I like that. Yeah, it's really great. Very nice. So the kickstand has a couple different positions on it too, right? It has, um, it, it does, it has quite a few. Let me help you yeah, out here. drop it here. So we'll, <laughs> no, it's okay. So we'll, to, oh, actually got it upside down. Right, we so go. we'll flip it up. Yeah. So just like on the previous versions of Surface, it has one mode that you can go right into and that stands it up. Um, so you don't need to hold on to it. Um, but then with this one, you can actually lay it pretty far down at an angle that's you know appropriate for however you're using right. the computer. It's good for presentations too, because if you're doing something, and the keyboard yeah. can really stay attached in that mode too, right? So you could still- It can. Yep, and there it clicks screen, right in. Right. You can't miss it. It's gonna it's gonna go in every single time. Right. So you just pop it in there. Wow, look at that. Yep. Yep. And you can adjust that back down and get yep. it into a into a good position. The keyboard's nice. It, it, I was I wasn't sure what to think of the keyboard when I saw it. Feeling it, it feels nicer. The keys are the right size. Yep. It's a slightly bigger type cover than the previous versions, mm -hmm. um, and it it does have a really great feel to it. One other thing that you'll feel if you go into the touchpad there's actually the same type of click sensitivity. Okay. So you get a tactile response when you're left clicking or right clicking. Oh yeah, okay, yep. Okay. So you can actually right. feel when you're hitting it. Right, so it's a mechanical function versus just, because that tapping always drives me nuts, yep. so it's kind of yep. nice to do that. Yeah, when you get the response, you know exactly whether you, you know, whether the keyboard got the keystroke or not. And screen, re screen size is uh, 12, 12 inch, is that, or 13 inch? It's a 12 inch screen. And it looks like it's got the high DPI, so you get the really high resolution screen. Yep. It, looks, it looks very nice yep, on here. it's beautiful. Now tell me about the pen, because this is kind of a unique uh, thing to the Surface. And you get the pen with, with your Surface, right? So the pen comes with it, yep. and there's some really cool functionality that's built into it. It's not just a regular touch tap stylus, um, and it's not just a regular writing um, stylus either. It's actually pretty amazing technology built into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Surface Pro 3 to sleep. Okay. And I'll just show you that, so as a user, when, if you wanted to, you could just hit the top tap and it's going to bring Surface Pro to life. So you don't have to hit a button or do anything there that's just going to do that. And then if you wanted to immediately go into taking notes using a program like OneNote, you could tap that again and it's gonna automatically go right into, the mess we made earlier. <laughs> into some of the writing that we did earlier. Right. But that's okay, we yep. can, let me just make a new, one make a new okay. page. And, and I can start writing. And but now what, what, what's neat about it is um, that you can, before you even put the pen on the surface, it's detecting 
where I'm going to be. So I guess it can pick up lighter touches, right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then if I hold down, I get a, a thicker pen stroke. So it's, it's pressure sensitive, and it really understands if you're trying to be very delicate and light, or if you're trying to, like you are now, give it a little more pressure and make a, you know, a, a wider right mark. You can change the colors, you can change the style of the pen, you can do all of that. One other thing that, um, that I'd love for you to experience, Lon, is if we just take this and go ahead and put it back into tablet mode, go ahead and write like you normally would. Mm -hmm. um, let me go back to OneNote. Yeah. And you can actually put your wrist on it, and it understands that, that you're not, that that's not the... Right, that's not the, that it's not picking up my wrist as I do that. Exactly. Right? And I also noticed that it's disabled the keyboard when it's flipped back around. Yeah. So that's nice too, because if you ever want to be able to do that, so you can actually write very naturally on here. Yep. And what's nice too is I've seen other styluses not be able to keep up, right? So there's no delay here. When I write, when I draw something, it's, Super it's fast very responsive. responsive there. Yep. So. And what do the buttons do on the side here? So one of them will act as a select, mm -hmm. and the other one will act as an eraser. So if I hold the button down if you here, hold it down. Oh I, oh, I just took out my entire circle there. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, so I can just take out different blocks of text. And then if you want to select, if you hold the other button mm -hmm. and just maybe draw around it, you can select things, oh, cool. and that's how you can do some, some of the converting your, um, your writing into text. Right. Um, and, or just move things around. Um, and it, it works, like you can see, it works really well. And I guess that's kind of the thing when you have an Intel processor behind it, you can do more of this kind of stuff. Yeah, the performance that you get with the device goes up significantly with the new fourth generation processors. The i5, like you said earlier, is what we're launching tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, there will be an i3 version and an i7 version in the exact same form factor. So think about that. You're going to be able to get an i7 in this super light, very thin device, it's, it's pretty amazing. Now it's a laptop replacement. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things that people have said about the prior version of Surface was that it was, it was a little hard to keep on your lap. This one is a little, little different, right? Yeah, so, and it's, you, would, you don't necessarily notice it just by looking at it, but I'll go ahead and show you. So when you're on a flat surface, the type cover, it stays very well positioned and you can type and it works great. If you're using a device like this to travel and you're on an airplane um, or you're on a train or, or, or even in a car or whatever and, and you have it on your lap or maybe not such a stable surface, this t could wobble and it doesn't make for a great typing experience. But, so what they engineered into the new type covers and to the Pro 3 is that that just clicks and again magnetically right. it gives you a lot more clicks stability. right in and then yeah. it's very stable right and it gives you a lot more stability i don't have a seat to sit on here but i can i can tell you that it, it's not really it's going it's pretty solid and actually yep. pretty comfortable to type even in this mode, in this right? mode as well yeah yep so it gives you a little bit more of a, almost kind of a laptop angle to it a right? little bit you get a little bit more there so and again the keys are uh, very full size now the onboard video is uh, integrated intel the latest intel integrated video Correct. so it'll it can do some gaming probably more on the casual side than you know running your xbox one kind of stuff right well but, uh yeah yeah but the the video performance the gaming performance the graphic capabilities even with that onboard chip on the i5 and the i7 is still pretty fantastic so you have a pretty decent processor yeah. behind it so yeah. who, who do you think is the target for this um we think there's a large audience for it i mean a lot of people were asking for the upgrades that that they delivered with the pro 3 um, we really think it could be surface or it could be students. It definitely is business people that are traveling or, or doing work in the field. Um, but I think that this um, meets the needs of a lot of different customers. Great. And so what's the, uh, the breakdown on price? It's three different tiers, right? So you have an I3, an I5, and an I7. We don't, if you don't know exactly what each price level well, is, it's okay. But that's okay. Yep. So the, the I3 will start at $799. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that we're launching tomorrow, the I5, there's two different versions. So um, there's one that's a 128 gig and there's a 256. The price points are $999 and $1299. And then there's different variations with RAM and they can go up from there. Excellent. And then the keyboard is separate, right? So that's an additional... Yeah, so the keyboard, the type cover is 129, um, and, and there's bundles um, that the store has created. So typically when customers, what we've learned, what people buy when they're getting this new computer is, you know, a lot of people want office. So if we're talking about a business customer or a student, a lot of the times they'll want office to be installed on here. Almost everybody ends up getting one type of the type covers, and there's different colors, so you can personalize it a little right. bit. 
And then we've got some other accessories like bags and, um, and keyboards and mice, not keyboards, but different kinds of Bluetooth mice and whatever else you might need to complete this and make it the right computer for you. And it's a PC, so you can use, there's input on here. Is there a USB? On? There is. Mm -hmm. There's a full USB 3.0. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a, a, a HD video out, so there's some different ways that's that... That's a mini display port there, is that? Yep, so if you mm -hmm. wanted to connect to an HD monitor and right. do a presentation on this device, you mm -hmm. can absolutely do that. So a little adapter in there or, or display port adapter and you're good to go. There's a number of different accessories, so whether you want to go VGA, HDMI, um, there's a number of different connectors connections and it's just a different accessory depending on what type of monitor you want to connect. So to. really what you could do is almost dock it to your to your home system. You got a key you know, maybe a USB hub with a keyboard you dock could. it and, and your There actually offering. is a docking station that'll be also delivered a little bit later on this year and you could do exactly what you're talking to. So if you have a workstation set up a lot of business people with the Pro 2, um, they would have a docking station at home and at work, and then it's just come in, click in, good to go. Very, very nice. So this is out tomorrow, which is what, June 18th or 19th? So it's Friday the 20th. Friday the 20th, it is out and available in the i5 variety, and then you can pre-order the other ones now, I'm assuming. Yep. And, and you can buy it in store, or you yes. can do it online too, right? Uh, you could do either. We'd encourage people to come in. A lot of times it's still, if it's still their, their first interaction with Windows 8.1, we like to in the store take a lot of time um, and help them set it up, show them some of the tips and tricks, kind of like some of the new features that I just showed you. Um, and you know, really make sure that they're excited uh, leaving with their product and they're excited to use it and really have a good time with it. Great. Well, Rick Green, thank you very much for having us at the Absolutely. store today. And this thanks is, for coming by, guys. Thanks for having us. And this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.